guys. So I am back here. So here's what I have done. I'm just gonna adjust my tripod here a little bit. Um, so what I did was, you know, I've heard a lot of people talking about QCAM and um, like the problems that they've been having. This Everybody really recommended this company when I first started, Diamond Painting, but um, I didn't order from them because the prices were a little higher and um, then kind of like before I got a chance to order from them, people were saying don't order from UCAM because their quality had gone down and they were having issues with the canvases, popping drills and poor quality drills. So anyway, that was about a year ago and I've been kind of like looking to see if anybody had done something like this. I haven't been able to find one, so I decided to do this. So what I want to do is kind of do a little series on my experience with Huacan now. So this is August 1st, 2020 that I'm recording this. This was ordered a while ago. This was ordered middle of June. Um, things are taking a little bit longer to come right now, but I don't fault the company for that. So I just want to give you like a full honest review of my experience with this product from start to finish. So before I actually get into the product, um, I want to talk a little bit about my experience with communication with this company. Um, I wasn't happy. Um, I've ordered a little snack size from Hue Account and I found their communication was not great. Um, first of all, I don't know if it was a language barrier, but they were very rude in their communication. Like, so what happened with this one was I, it just said, you know, waiting to ship, waiting to ship. And I contacted them and I'm like, when is it shipping? And they just basically said, due to logistics, we haven't shipped it yet. Okay. They said that they shipped it. There was no tracking number. So I asked them, being the size of it, you know, there should be a tracking number. They uploaded one. I tried it. It didn't work. So I messaged them back and I said, the tracking number you sent me didn't work. They messaged me back and sent me two numbers and said, these are the two we gave you. This is the tracking number. Neither number worked. I messaged them again and I said, these numbers do not work. I never heard back from them. So then through AliExpress, it took so long that the purchase protection was running out. It said the order was completed. So I'm, I actually filed a dispute, which I don't like doing. And their response back was it was shipped. Well, and I had said in there that there was no tracking number that I said the tracking number didn't work. They responded back and told AliExpress that it had shipped and they had provided me a tracking number. The tracking number never worked. I had no clue where this package was and you know, it, it is what it is. Like, but they never acknowledged me three times when I told them that the tracking number didn't work. So I was very disappointed in that. Um, you know, it was, I just found the communication with them was very abrupt and very, um, just not happy with the communication. It wasn't, definitely wasn't very polite communication and they've kind of weaseled around the topic. So anyway, it came, it looks like it's in good shape. Um, it's kind of just in a white mailer. I'm just going to give it, we're going to open it up here and see what we got. So it looks like the product is in okay shape, you know, um, that's, ordered from some sister companies and been fairly happy with the product so hopefully I'm happy with this one so it just comes in your typical um here we can just a second my phone's doing something funny okay just the typical here can packaging um does look to be in very good shape no concerns there a little bit of crumbling but that's kind of to be expected um box is taped shut I'm just gonna open it here so you can see what's inside it I'm gonna open it up and oh it looks like I opened up the back end of it but we've got the kit there's the typical Hewitt can kit the diamond painting looks to be in good condition um, no wrinkles it's just wrapped in plastic the ends are actually in nice condition the last few I've gotten the ends have been really muggled and just gross but this one's nice this i'm happy with that um then we have our drills 
right here in the plastic container. So there we go. Um, we'll start out. I don't think I need to open that. This is a typical like Hue Can kit. It's got the black, the heavier duty tweezers, white pen, a couple of multi placers, and two nice big pieces of wax. So we won't spend too much time on that. Um, there is no inventory sheet, which kind of surprises me for a product this size, but we'll see. Let me get into it, what we've got. So yeah, um, hope everybody is doing well. Um, I've been back to work. Um, I'm a nurse in a long-term care facility. Um, so, you know, it is uh, a little stressful being back at work right now. Um, you know, I'm working in a very high risk environment, but, um, it is what it is, you know, like you've got to work. So, um, we're wearing masks at work all the time when we're with our residents. Um, lots of hand washing, screening visitors and stuff. So I feel very safe in the facility. It's just, you know, the reality of the work environment. So canvas looks to be in very nice condition. Um, it's on that thinner foam roller. I have a kitty here to help me, as usual. Nala is here today. I think Jade is sleeping. But, yeah, this looks very nice. I'm happy with this so far. Let's take a peek. I'm gonna just... One thing I find about the Huacan adhesive is it always seems to come out very far. Well, with the sister companies I've ordered from, so... Ooh. Lay flat here so we can take a peek at you. Let's see if I can get this started. There we go. Oh, there we go. Just unroll this and we'll on the other side. It looks like the um, adhesive is cut into four pieces, which is a good Thing for a piece this size. I'm gonna have to readjust this when I'm done. Um, so this one is a Halloween picture. I wanted something, um, I have a, like a Christmassy 40 by 50 and I kind of wanted to do like one for each season upstairs in my hallway that I can change out. Oh, there's the tape. Sorry, my puppies are outside and they're barking. Well, that looks nice. Nice clear picture there. Gel field looks nice and clear. There we go. Oh, look at the kitty on there. Reminded me of my Nala. I have a black cat, so there we go. Is that ever cute? There we are. So there is my Hue Can. It is, I just called it Halloween Cat. Um, the drill field is very nice and clear. Um, I don't see any major rivers or bubbles in the canvas. The glue actually looks very nice. The canvas is very nice. It's a nice, thick, soft canvas. Um, I really like the uh, Home Fun canvases, but I'm starting to like these Hue Can ones better. They just, they're, they seem softer, I don't know. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to adjust that again. It's nice and sticky. What did I do? Let's try this one more time. There we go. All right, now I can do this side. Let me know how your experiences with uh, Hue Can have been, if you've completed any like more recent ones. Um, I've heard people say that they seem to be getting better. They haven't been having the quality issues that had been reported before. So that is a good thing. These are really long on this side. Um, they actually overlap onto the key. So it's not great, but I can think that's just trimmed. So we have um, 45 colors in there. And the symbols 
and don't look too wonky. Not lots of letters and um, symbols and stuff. Um, they look pretty good. No concerns there. So yeah, that's good. So far, so good. Happy with that so far. All right, let's take a quick peek at our drills here. Um, so they do pack theirs in the Ziploc bags. Um, I prefer, honestly, to um, move mine over into the little containers. I'm just not coordinated coordinated enough, there we go, to use the Ziploc bags for kidding. Um, I just spend more time looking for my colors than I do actually diamond painting. So. Anyway, let's take a peek at some of these here. So this is a square. There we go. And like the typical Hue can, you've got your number, um, the DMC number, I think. And then, is that how it is? Let's see. This is a 310. So yeah, you've got your um, number, your DMC number, and then the amount of drills. That's kind of surprising for as dark as this picture is. There's only that many 310s, like 200 and some. So I'm imagining that there's probably... A lot of yeah like here we go there's 154 it's pretty nice um, lots of purples in this one it looks like this is very nice I'm looking forward to doing this one um, I'm hope I might actually put the one that I'm working on aside and start this one um, just what I want to do is like kit it up and start working on it let you know kind of just as I go along how the quality is on this kit so um so far I'm happy the only issue look at all those purples that's a pretty color that is 210 I don't think I have that one yet anyway um yeah I don't know so like hopefully the quality is as good as I'm expecting I I don't see a, an issue I think that this is gonna be nice and I'm excited to start working on it and hopefully I can get it done before Halloween. So anyway guys, thanks for uh, tuning into this one and keep an eye out because I will be continuing to do updates on this. I want people to have an idea of what they're actually getting when they do order a Hue can now and how the quality is. So anyway guys, hope you have a great day and um, yeah, I will keep you updated on this one as I go along. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.